She's back. Denise Wilde, our sewing expert. How are you, honey? Great. How are you? Thank you. Great. I love that you're going to take us through some of the linen options we might right. have for the holiday season. Because exactly. there's so many choices out there if you are going to go with linens. And this is usually the time when people get a little bit more fancy. Definitely. So and you've got great options here. Yeah, it's, the linens are really the backdrop to your party. So we're talking about tablecloths, table runners, placemats, uh, napkins. Mm -hmm. And you can really, first you want to start thinking about the fabric. So something that is like a polyester or a polyester blend, polyester cotton, or even a linen cotton blend, mm -hmm. they're so easy to maintain. You just throw them in the washing machine throw them in the dryer they're really really great that's good if you move into yeah exactly super low maintenance yeah. so if you move into a 100% pure natural fiber maybe an Egyptian cotton or uh, an Irish linen uh -huh. then you're looking at a bit more maintenance but it is nicer to the touch so you usually have a nicer more luxurious feel right. But you have to wash it very gently maybe by hand and definitely don't put it in the dryer either line dry it right. or hang it to dry and you don't want red wine on this do you no you don't that's gonna be a problem <laughs> yeah then you also have vinyl as an option. So yeah. a really flexible vinyl or something with a little bit of flannel behind it. Yeah. It's great if you have kids or if it's under the buffet table, you can just wipe it clean. Totally. So that's, that's super, super low maintenance. Throw the whole bottle of red wine yeah, on that. Yeah. <laughs> that one's You're okay. You're good. That one's okay. It's going to wipe right so off. Let's talk about dressing the table. Before you put your linens on, you want to make sure that you're ironing them. Right. So pick a temperature setting on your iron based on the type of fabric. Uh -huh. And if you've got 100% uh, cotton or 100% linen, then make sure it's still a little bit damp when you're ironing it. That way you'll get mm. the creases out even better. Then I have a tip. great, great tip. Uh, bring your ironing board over to the side of your table. So as you're ironing a huge tablecloth, yes. you can just slide it right on the table. You don't have to worry about it pooling down and, and uh, getting extra wrinkled. What a great idea yeah, because exactly. it is a bit of a beast. You exactly. take out this huge tablecloth exactly. and you're thinking, you're my ironing goodness. it on the little board yes. and then it starts to pile up and you get more wrinkles in it anyway. Yeah, very smart. So when you're storing your your uh, linens. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to make sure that you launder them and don't iron them because you're going to iron them right before you put them on the table. Right, that's but, right. You're going to iron them right yes. before you put them on the table. <laughs> but how you store it is really <laughs> important. So a very fine linen, let's say your uh, mother gave you her antique linens, uh, you don't want to get them, uh, you don't want to have them in a mess. So right. The best thing you want to do preserve is, them. Exactly. To preserve them, roll them up uh, in a 100% cotton sheet okay. or you can put them around a cardboard tube. Uh, just make sure that it's lined oh, with acid-free tracing, uh, tracing paper. So you're talking about the family heirlooms, exactly. the things you want to make sure you yeah, hang you don't on want to, them your to grandma's discolor. linens. Exactly. And, yeah, you don't okay. want them to yellow or anything like yes, that. Yes, good And then storage. whenever you're um, dressing your table, make sure you mix it up. So look for different textures, right. uh, look for different details, uh, different trims. You could even go really crazy with embellishments, anything that you want, and just play with different colors, play with different textures. You can do layering, you know, layer a circle table, circular tablecloth over right. top of a rectangular one, yeah. uh, or you could even try, um, you know, something that has more sheerness and more see-through under over top of a color. That's really nice. Layer them yes. all together. As someone yeah. in your line of work, do you have like a billion of these? Yeah, and it doesn't do you have, have to be a matchy, ton. Matchy. Yeah. Yeah, and you mix them all together. Exactly. The placemats, the linens, you can you can make this yourself. You can. Right? And actually, if I have a really great DIY one, but yes. I don't want you to be afraid because it doesn't require a sewing machine. That's so I like that. Let's say <laughs> I knew you would. So let's say last minute you need a tablecloth uh, maybe you for have are missing one one short or your husband invited his boss and you just found out and you need something for the table yeah. you can head over to the fabric store and look for a fabric that doesn't fray so you're looking for an oil cloth or a laminated cotton okay. or even a pleather they have really great flexible oh. pleathers these days mm -hmm. that are much more uh, luxurious and beautiful and they look really good yeah. so you're going to just cut it on the uh, off of the bolt and you can throw it on your table and you're good to go you don't have to hem it you don't have to sew it yeah. Um, but what you do want to do is know the right length. So you want the length of your table plus two times your drop length. So two times on either side? Exactly. And okay. if it's for, for regular dining, uh, your drop length is an inch above the height of your uh, of your chair, of your, sorry, the seat of your chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or uh, 18 to 24 inches drop length is perfect for formal, or you can always go floor length. You know what? I like these measurements. Yeah. And if people are sticklers and they want them, can we put them on our website? Yeah, absolutely. So go absolutely. to cityline.ca to get all of those, uh, those different the heights. Length. It's really yeah. good. You can just yeah. head over to the fabric store and... Exactly. Cut a fabric cut that works. Right. Yeah. Good stuff.